Shalom Amakim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the Spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful to let Akim out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line goes back to you being the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. Shalom. It's your brother Halaki from the GMS Colorado camp, coming back once again through the spirit and through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemiah with another video. And this time I have a video uh, I came across on Instagram yesterday, man, and this shows the bugged out mentality of Jake. It shows that Jake has completely forsaken the most high and has no type of fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh It shows that Jake really think that they're gonna take on these damn Edomites by way of Esau's blessing. You see, and it shows Jake that Jake is just carnal as hell, man. You see? Let's get that first. Let's get that first real quick. We're gonna come back to that. Romans chapter 8, verse, uh, yeah, Romans 8 and 5. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death. <clears throat> you see that? For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. And what makes you carnally minded, man? Thinking that you're going to overtake your enemies by way of his blessing. By thinking that uh, you going to uh, salak you. By walking in the ways of the world, you're going you gonna to get some type of, uh, can't find the word. That You, you think you're going to make it in this world by going, going by Esau's rule? You, you're trying to set some type of fucking uh, lifestyle up for you in this world? Walking uh, in the ways of the world? Just being carnally minded, man. Thinking the gun is the answer. You know? That's not the answer, man. It says what? But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. To be spiritually minded is to do what? To walk in the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. To understand and know what the will of the Heavenly Father is. To walk in His wisdom, man. That's being spiritually minded. You see? Trusting in the Most High, having faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. And that's what the true believers are doing. And we what? We have peace of mind, man. To know that these damn devils are not going to always be over us, man. That we're not going to always be in this condition. We know that a kingdom is coming. When we know that the Most High is coming to save his people. We just have to be patient and wait, man. But Jake don't want to do that. You see, Jake is tired of waiting. Jake want to take the, uh, the power to his hands, man. When you don't have no power. You see? Jake don't want to. Jake don't want to do the will of the Most High. They want to do their own thing, man. It's gonna lead to your death. You see that? So it goes on to say in verse seven, because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High. Being carnal makes you an enmity against the uh, uh, makes you an enemy of the Most High, man. For it is not subjected to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. You see that? And that's what we see with two thirds of our people, man. They're completely against being under the Most High, man. <clears throat> you see, so then that so then they that are in the flesh cannot please the Most High, and that's what this whole video showed you, man. That this dude is in the flesh. So let's let's play this video and pull some more scriptures in. How about Shemiah Shah willing? It'll be edifying. Yeah, how old are you? Nine years old. All right, let's get into it. Go. What do men do? Teach, provide, and protect. Preach how. Lead and guide the families. Don't depend on the system for knowledge. Provide how? Invest in their families. Create jobs to keep their money at their table. Protect how? Pray for mental, physical, and financial. All right. Can Jesus, a fucking president, or even me save you? No, I have to save myself. Absolutely. What a fuck. You hear that? You hear that? Now, we know that Messiah's name is not Jesus, man. 
we know his true name is Yahawasha. You see? But this that shows you the carnal mind of Jake, man. Thinking that they're going to save themselves, man. You're not going to save yourself. All these guns that you got on this table is not going to save you, man. You teaching your daughter all this shit is not going to save you. You see? This is what Edomites do. This is their blessing, man. And that's what Jake don't understand because what? They're carnal minded and they're not spiritual minded, man. They don't understand that this weapon, this sword, was not given unto them for a blessing, man. We have Yahweh by Shemi Shah. We have the Almighty. That just shows you that Jake doesn't have any faith, man. You see? Teaching his daughter all this BS when you should be teaching what's written in the scriptures, man. The true wisdom, man, of Yahweh by Shemi Shah. What's going because what matter of fact, you doing all this, but what is gonna get us through these times that we're entering into, man? Is 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 knowing how to break down a gun and put it back together gonna get you through these hard ass times we're about to come into the time of Jacob's trouble? You see? No, man. What's what is gonna get us through it, man? Wisdom of Solomon, not wisdom of Solomon, it's like it. <laughs> Isaiah 33 and 6, man. This is what's gonna get us through these times, man. Not knowing how to break down a gun and this and that and the other, man. It says what? Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is his treasure. You see? And he ain't talking about this knowledge that you giving her, this and that. That's not going to get her through these times, man. The true knowledge and wisdom is, is, is of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. That's what's going to get us through these times. Knowing what's about to happen. You see? Knowing the future, man. Knowing the prophecies. Knowing what the will of the Heavenly Father is, man. That's what's going to get us through these times. That's what's going to keep us stable, man. Not no damn gun. You can have all the guns you want, but if you ain't got the wisdom of the Most High, that shit is for nothing, man. You see? Let's show you, man. You Jake's are about to be taken, man. You Jake's are about to be taken. Ain't that every family should have in 2002. Guns, gold, land, and self-love. Gotcha. What is the Second Amendment? Well, you can have a firearm and nobody tell you that you can't have it at all. What is the Fourth Amendment? No unreasonable searches and seizures. All right, and if they get a search warrant, they need to have what? A probable cause. All right, if you ever have to shoot someone, do we shoot to kill or we shoot to wound? We shoot to kill. Let me ask you a personal question, daughter. In this family, do we bitch about and complain about a word that we already know is fucked up? No. We study the rules and we get our shit together and we beat them at their own game. No, you don't beat them at their own game, man. You falling right into the trap that Esau wants you to be in, man. He wants you to be out here doing this shit. He wants you to take up the sword to try to come up against them with, man. Because cause, cause, cause it just shows you how dumb you Jakes are, man. You got all these guns on the table. Where's your military, man? Where's your Air Force? Where's your Army? Where's your Marines? Where, where's your Navy, man? Where's your Space Force? That's what this man has. You see? You got a handful of guns, and this man has fucking drones that can come wipe your whole fucking block out before you even know what the fuck is going on, man. This this just shows you the fucking small mindedness of Jake, man. You see? This shit ain't cool, man. This this is this is not this is not the way, man. And you Jake's are about to find that shit out the hard way, man. You are about to really find out the hard way because you, your daughter, whoever else is going to be put down by trying to use these swords, man. You see? This ain't the way, man. Because what does it tell us, man? Man, let's, play, let's, let's play, finish the video. I'm going to post some scriptures, man. All right, Becca, grab that air. As soon as your hand says you got five seconds to break it down. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. And if I die today, what's your job? To pick up where you left off and take care of my siblings. Oh my goodness, bro. Simple as hell. Simple as hell, man. When the scriptures tell us what? Ugh, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> what is that? Said Corinthians 10 and 4, man. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, 
but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds. We don't need no carnal weapons, man. We don't need no fucking ARs, no goddamn Glocks, whatever, whatever you got, man. That shit is not going to work. Like I said before, you just really are not thinking bigger picture, man. You're not thinking or even rationalizing how this man has fucking troops. You see? Legions of troops that he can send into your neighborhood. He can patrol your skies with Air Force, man. You see? Esau can touch you from the seas, man. Your ass could be living in the middle of the country. Esau can send a fucking a torpedo from a fucking aircraft carrier, to, 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 to a warship, to destroy your whole fucking block, man. You Jakes are really not thinking, man. You see? You are really, really, really not thinking. So 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4, for the weapons of our warfare, warfare are not carnal, and we just witnessed a whole bunch of carnal shit. Like I said, breaking down the AR-15 in, in, in five seconds is not going to get you up out of this bitch, man. Breaking down the AR-15 and going over all that, what you went over, man, is not going to get you through the times of Jacob's trouble. Only the wisdom of the Most High is going to get you through that time, man. You see your trust and your faith in the Most High. Because cause, cause, cause if what, what, what happens if you not at the crib to have all these weapons? Now what you got? What what do you rely on now? You see? Because you ain't got no faith in the Most High. You see? You don't, you don't know the Most High. You, oh, uh, you, you saying your Howard Shah can't save you, so now what do you have? What are you going to do now, man? That's so why we say uh, a lot of you Israelites are about to be taken, man. And, that, and the scripture also tell you that, man. They should be taken in great number, man. You see? So 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds. And what's our weapon, man? Using this word. Speaking these words, man. And Jake don't believe in the power of the most high. That's why they feel like they can save themselves, man. That's not about to happen. You cannot save yourself. You have no power, man. You see? Verse 5. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that is of itself above the knowledge of the most high. And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Mashiach Yahweh Shai. And that's what we're doing just by preaching these words, man. That's why this place is falling because the prophets have been preaching the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And the Most High is bringing it to pass. You see, we're not finna do this by carnal means, man. It has never worked for us. We've tried it multiple times and we always fail by going that route. You see, but the remnant who's prophesied to return unto the Most High. We understand the power of the Most High, and that's what we're cleaving unto, man. We understand that the mo only Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to save us from our enemies, man. But you, Jake, still can't get it, so you're going to find out the hard way. What do Yahweh Shah say, man? This is Matthew chapter 26. Let's go. Let's go into it. 52. Uh. Yep, Matthew 26 and 51. And, be, and behold, one of them which were with Yahweh Shai stretched out his hand and drew his sword, which the, the modern day sword would be what? The gun. And struck a servant of the high priest, the high priest, and smote off his ear. Then said Yahweh Shai unto him, Put up again thy sword into his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. And that's what's about to happen to you and your daughter, man. You see? You putting your trust in that fucking weapon, man. It's going to get your ass put down by that weapon, man. You see? That's not the way. That's not the way, man. You see, the only way is to repent and come back into the Heavenly Father, man. That's the only way. To believe upon your Yahweh Shah, the one you said that couldn't save you, that's your only way out. That's your only salvation. That's what his name means, man. Yahweh Shah, he saves. You see? That's the only way. Not this bullshit that you're trying to do, man. And this is for all you dicks who are in that spirit, man. That's not going to get you saved, man. That's not going to get you, you know what I'm saying, from under these damn Edomites. It's only going to be through the power of Yahweh Shah, and it tells you that, man. Let's go to uh, Psalms 44, man. Psalms 44. We'll start at, uh, I'll just read all this. Psalms 44 and 1. We have heard with our ears, O Most High, 
our fathers have told us what work thou didst in their days in the times of old. How thou didst drive out the enemy with thy hand. You see, the Most High is going to drive out our enemies, man. You picking up a firearm is not going to drive out the enemies, man. It's going to cause the enemy to come against you even harder. You see? Because you just, you, you just don't comprehend the magnitude of this man's blessing, which is this damn sword, man. You see? Y'all, you just don't understand. This motherfucker can send a goddamn SEAL Team 6 on your ass, have your ass fucking bagged and tagged before you even know what the fuck is going on. Your ass wake up in Guantanamo Bay with no weapons, no nothing. Now what's going to happen? Now what do you do? Now what do you fall back on? You see? This is why you trust in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Not no damn weapons, man. You, you just, just don't comprehend it, man. You, you just don't understand what the fuck is going on. You don't understand that uh, you, you, you don't understand your enemy, man. And what the fuck he's capable of. Hey, but the most high is about to unleash this damn devil upon you, man. So wisdom of no, no, I'm stuck in wisdom of Solomon, man. Psalms four Psalms 44 and 2. How that thou, how thou didst drive out the heathen with thy hand and plantest them. How thou didst afflict the people and cast them out. That's what the Most High is going to do against our enemies, man. And that's what we put our faith in. We put our faith in, the, in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Because we already tried to use the gun, man. We already tried to do it the corner way and we failed, man. Look at the Black Panthers, man. You see? They took up the gun. Where they at now? Somewhere destroyed, man. You see? Verse 33. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword. You see that? When we went into the land of Canaan, we didn't get it by our own sword. Neither did their own arm save them. But thy right hand, which is Yahweh Shah, the same being you said that couldn't save you. You see? He got that land for us, man. He fought for us, man. He put the spirit upon us to fight and to win against our enemies, man. That's what the Most High is going to do in this time. You see? And this is what we put our trust in. But thy right hand and thine arm and the light of thy countenance because thou had this favor, for thou hadest a favor unto them. Thou art my king, O Most High. Command deliverances for Jacob. Through thee, through the Most High, through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, we will push down our enemies. Through thy name will we tread them under that rise up against us. This is how we're going to overcome. This is how we're going to win, man, by putting our trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Going the carnal, carnal route does not work. And the Most High, he's allowed us to go in, in that way to show us time and time again that it doesn't work, man. The only way we overcome it, uh, uh, the only way we win is repenting and coming back to the Most High through Yahweh Shah. Believing upon the only begotten Son, man. Believing upon Yahweh Shah that he can save you, man. That's how we win. That's how we overcome these damn devils, man. Trying to do it any other way, you're going to take an L, man. Every time. Psalms 44 and 5. Through thee, through thee will we push down our enemies. Through thy name will we tread them under that rise up against us. And that's what we're about to do to our enemies, man. Verse 6. For I would not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. You see that? The sword is not going to save you, man. Only Yahweh Shah can save you, man. You see? That's it. For I would not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. Because that's not the answer. That's not the route to go, man. That's not that's not the uh, uh, lane we're supposed to be in, man. We're supposed to be over here trusting in the Most High wholeheartedly, man, and in the power of His might and in His strength that He can save us from any situation, no matter what may come up against us. You see? Because the thing is, the men of the Lord, we believe in the power of the Most High. You see, we're going to be able to, we gonna be able to take down tanks. You see? Run through troops of 800, 900, 1,000 men, but one man by himself. That's the type of power that's coming to the men of the Lord, man. And that's what we trust in. We're not trusting in no carnal bullshit, man. We're trusting in the spiritual power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. That's how we're going to overcome, man. You see, to, to run through Esau's militaries, man. To jump into the air, to snatch his drones out of the air, man. You see? To throw his tanks like we're throwing a fucking a paper ball, man. That's the type of power that's about to come upon the men of the Lord because we trust in him. While you, Jason, still out here trusting in that, in that, that fucking bullshit-ass carnal gun, man. 
You see? Verse 7. But thou hast saved us from our enemies and has put them to shame that hated us. <clears throat> Verse 8. And the most high we boast all the day long and praise thy name forever. Salah. And that's what we do, man. We boast in the power of our father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. We boast in the power of our Lord and our Savior, our brother, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man. That's what we do, man. That's what we trust in. Not this carnal. Come up. Come up. Not this carnal BS, man. This is not the way. This is not the way, man. You see? You have to believe upon your Hawasha and have your mind renewed by this word, man. Come up out of all that bullshit that you learned in Babylon the Great. You see, and the Most High will fight for you, man. You see, it's the Most High who fights our battles, man. Oh, what's that? Uh, matter of fact, I think that's the first match to be. If I ain't mistaken. Victory, uh, See, that might have been it. First match will be three nineteen. But I said something about the sword. What's the who Julius Anderson? Well, yeah, man, you get the point, man. We're not finna overcome by <laughs> no carnal means, man. You know, how does it tell we gonna say we're gonna overcome, man? Let's let's go to that real quick. Revelation 12. How do, how are we gonna overcome? Revelation 12 and 10. And I heard a loud voice in heaven. And I heard a loud voice in heaven. Slack it. Revelation 12 and 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his Mashiach. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which is Esau Edom, you see, the devil, which is a so-called white man, which accused them before our power day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. You see that? You see, that's how we're going to overcome, man, by the blood of Yahweh Shah. And by the words that we preach, which are the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, that's the only way to overcome. Nowhere is it written in the scriptures that we're going to overcome by way of the sword, man. You see? That's not the right way, man. We have to go with him, man. You have to repent, man, and come back to the Heavenly Father. Let's go to repent real quick. You have to repent, man. As Yahweh Shah preached, man. Repentance. Come back to the Most High. Put off all that BS that you're into. And repent, come back. You see what? Matthew 3 and 2. And saying, repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Come back to the most high through Yahweh Shah, man. You see? And it tells you what else is something I'm looking for. It says, uh, Acts chapter 3 and 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, man. You see? Repent and, and be converted, man. Come up out of the mind state of Babylon. Come up out of the mind state of trying to take up arms against this, man, because it's not going to work, man. You have to come back and believe upon Yahweh Shah. You see? Oh, let me go to Acts 2 and uh, 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Yahweh Shah, Mashiach, for the remission of sins, 
and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. That's how we win, man, by repenting and being baptized in the name of Yahweh Shah. You see, you don't win by picking up a, a carnal weapon, man. That's that's going to be the end of you, man. You see? You know, you get the point, man. But Jake is just going out here, man. You see, Jake is just going out here. And the most high about the man, I want to get that too. Shall be taking a great number. Yup. Second there's is five and one. Nevertheless, as come in the tokens, behold, the days come. The days shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number. You see? Why is that? Because you refuse to repent, talking to you Israelites, man. Talking to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You need to come back and be baptized in Yahweh Shah Mashiach. You said to have your sins forgiven so you can receive salvation, man. But a lot of you don't want to do that, man. So you're going to be left to your own devices. And you're about to be taken in great number when this damn devil comes down having great wrath, man. As it is written. And we're fastly approaching that time. You see? So 2 Ezra chapter 5 verse 1. Nevertheless, as, as coming the tokens, behold... The day shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number and the way of truth shall be hidden and the land shall be barren of faith. You see that? And that's the time we're entering into because the famine of the word is approaching. You see, so finding out how to get back to the most high, finding out what you need to do, finding out how you escape these uh, perilous times is going to be cut off, man. You see? And you're going to be left to your own devices as it tells you in Proverbs 1, man. All those things that you trusted in instead of trusting in the Most High, the Most High gonna leave that, gonna leave you with that, and we gonna see if that's gonna save you, man. And we already know the answer to that, man. It's not, you see, it's not, man. So yeah, man, that Jake, Jake is just out here, just just foolishness, man, foolishness, and it's gonna lead to your death. A whole lot of you, Jake's about to be uh, about to die behind trying to take up this damn sword to fight against Esau, man. You see. So with that, man, I'm going to give all praises, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and, po spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful to let Akim out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity doing the work of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do. With that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wah, Abba, Baba.